Hello guys. guys! We're Svetlana and Benny and Zelda from Kamui Cosplay and welcome back to our free part video tutorial on how to build Diva Scan from yes. Overwatch. Yeah, last time I showed you how to create a nice blueprint for your prop, so if you haven't checked out the video, look at it right here over Svetlana's head. Yes! Click, click, click. Right, right. And this time I'm going to show you how to turn the whole blueprint into an actual build out of EVA foam just by using an exacto knife and a dremel. Also, you can find everything I'm going to show you in my guns and rifles book. Uh, check out the link in the video description. Yes. And so let's start with yeah. part two. Let's start! Yay! Yay! No laser cutter, no 3D printer, just cheap and simple tools. The first step was to print out Benny's blueprint. To get the correct size, I had to make sure the grip fits perfectly into my hand. I printed it out several times until I finally got it right. For a better idea of how the gun looks like from all sides, I printed out the original reference picture as well. You can also get a better look at the gun in Overwatch, that's super helpful. To start the building process, I separated my patterns into different pieces. After thinking about how thick I want them to be, I traced the patterns onto 10mm high density EVA foam. If you're interested, I put the link to the foam in the video description. Standard black EVA foam surely works as well, but this material is a little bit more durable. To cut everything out, I'm just using a regular hobby knife. Just keep it nice and sharp with sanding paper. I cut out the shape several times to get the right thickness for the base of the gun. Contact cement works perfectly for gluing EVA foam. You find a link to this in the video description as well. It's totally normal that the edges look pretty rough when cutting by hand, so don't worry. Just clean them with your Dremel. Now everything fits well together. For the details, I simply kept on cutting my patterns into smaller pieces. At this point I worked with 2, 5 and 10 mm foam. Most pieces also get a nice beveled edge all around. I also used my Dremel to bring foam into completely new shapes. Keep in mind that sometimes not everything turns out perfect on the first try. I also had to build the grip again, this time with three instead of two layers. This version turned out a lot better. I mainly used 5mm thick foam for the elements on the top. An exacto knife worked fine to cut out small pieces. Next I melted any imperfections with a heat gun. The main piece at the front was 10mm thick. I dremeled away a lot of foam to get a nice transition. The grip then got covered in 2mm foam. Maybe 5mm would have been a better choice, but 2mm just felt more comfy in my hand. To create the barrel I covered a piece of PVC pipe with a few layers of foam. First 5 then 2mm. I repeated the step again to create the exact shape of the reference. To drill a hole in the main body, I used my Dremel to sharpen the edge of another PVC pipe. It had to be the same diameter as my barrel, so it was just perfect for cutting the hole. My exacto knife helped me to get rid of the material inside and my Dremel cleaned the edges. Finally, I glued all pieces together. Now there were only some details missing. I used the original pattern again for more orientation. The rear side was made out of several 5mm pieces. Same goes for the front side. What's wrong Zelda? You wanna play? Get the sheep, get the sheep! Okay, back to work. Now I had to add the trigger. After this was done, I used my Dremel again to create more details. You can pick different sanding tips to add screws. 
The second barrel was made pretty much the same way as the first. I just added a few more details. More sanding! You already know how to cut out and glue pieces by now. For the rabbit charm I glued together two 5mm pieces and added a nylon thread in between. Now the nylon thread got covered with some wooden pearls. After this I just connected everything to the main gun. And finally I used my hot air gun again to heat seal the surface and Diva's gun was done! This was some work, but as you can see you don't need any fancy tools to do this at home. Yeah, so all that's left now is to give our nearly bird prop a fancy paint shot. And now we do that, you can see in the next video. So next see video. you then, bye bye! Bye bye!